if you've just installed FPS Creator and you've got this error message on the screen, then what we need to do is install DirectX 9.0C. Now, if you're using 10.11, which of course um, Windows uh, Vista from upwards is doing, um, you still need to use DirectX 9.0C because the newer versions of DirectX are not backwards compatible with it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Downloads folder. And I'm going to locate my DirectX. This was extracted when I downloaded my um, my FPS Creator file and simply extracted it. So this is a DirectX directory I was left with. And we're just going to double click on DX Setup, and I accept. And we're just going to run through the installation. Now, if you get this kind of error, because I'm using a 64-bit operating system, then what we need to do is actually download the latest uh, redistribution package from Microsoft. So there's a couple of ways of finding this. The easiest one is just to go to Google, type in DirectX 9.0C redistributable, and it will be the top search here. So I'm just going to click on that. I'll also put the link to this file into my description. And I'm just going to click on download. And no, we don't want anything else. So no thanks and continue. And we're just going to wait for the file to download. Now, the reason I'm using this um, version is because the web installer version doesn't work with 64-bit um, operating systems very well. It'll basically tell you the same error message we got before, which is we can't install it because there's a newer version of DirectX installed. This is a way of getting around that. The redistributable package will allow you to install it. So if we run this now and run, and yes, and we're going to give it a location to extract to. I'm just going to be very quick and give it a DX dist and click on OK. Yep. And it'll now extract everything from that package. So I've just got to locate it um, on my computer. And I'm just going to go into C. And I'm going to go into DX dist. And we're going to locate the setup file here, which is somewhere around here. There it is. DX setup. And we're going to run that instead. And accept. And next. And next. And as you can see, this is now installed in without complaining or having any major issues. So we're just going to wait for the files to copy over. I'll just pause the video there. And there we go. So it's now ready. So we click on finish and that's it. So now when we go to run FPS Creator, as you can see, it now runs without any problems whatsoever. We didn't even need to reboot our computer.